Good evening, Ginger Boy. You must be wondering why I am so elated to see you. Get the fuck out of my house. It will please you to know I had intercourse with the two little damsels you once knew. Miss Rice Harlan and Baby Goth Bossom were pleasant to play with for around seven seconds until I demolished and utterly desecrated their bodies with my morphing gift. They're nothing but minced meat now, and your little raccoon friend will soon meet the same fate as he is now walking towards his own death. Oblivious at the note I sent him saying you would find what you pests call dope near the library of this godforsaken town was nothing but a lie. Instead of finding drugs, he will return to ash and dust. But don't feel left out, Ginger Boy. I also have a little gift for you. You're going to meet all your friends so, so very soon. Do your worst- Oh, I'm sorry. It appears you didn't hear me. I forgot you must be old as shit and have probably gone deaf. Allow me to repeat myself. <clears throat> GET THE FUCK OUT OF MY HOUSE! Did... Did nothing I say infuriate you? Did you even hear me? You clearly didn't hear me since you're still here. Fine! You're no fun, boy. Hey guys, what's up? Dude, how long have you been here? Literally the whole time. I don't know, neither of you saw me. Eh, fuck if I know. All I know is that they're doing a boondocks marathon and I don't plan on leaving till it's over. Wanna join? Fuck it, make room. My nigga! And so, Darnell, his clone, and Pico continued the marathon while Convict just stood outside miserable. The end.